¿Cómo? ¿Perdón? Seguro le dices eso a todas. Mira, no solo va a ser esto, pero... ¿Martes? Bueno, o miércoles. Llámame. El totalmente nuevo Corolla 2014. La diferencia está en el estilo. Toyota, vayamos juntos. share of market. You know, we have created some unique messages for young African American consumers who are elevating their way to success through hard work and internal grind. Here's an example. It's called In the Zone. There are some moments you spend your life preparing for. Not to prove them wrong, but yourself right. So you work harder, drive stronger, and before you know it, You didn't just beat the game. What is that? Don't know, but he's going places. You changed it. Hey, son, ready for the interview? I got this. Introducing the 2014 Next Generation Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. You know, our, our, our new Corolla advertising is about connecting with a wide range of buyers, but in ways that are tailored to their media consumption habits. We're going to take advantage of every digital, social, and traditional opportunity out there. And, and we hope to earn lifelong champions for the Corolla and for the entire brand. And I, I think you can tell that, that at Toyota we couldn't be more optimistic about this new Corolla. We think enthusiasm will build with the addition of the LA Echo Grade and the great content and pricing. And, you know, I'm personally really looking forward to the dialogue we're going to start with these unique launch plans. You know, I've heard it many times at some of our earlier press events. When we've shown this car. People see this Corolla. And they go, I can't believe that's a Corolla. Well, we believe that will continue with you once you get a chance to drive and experience this car for yourself tomorrow. So I want to thank you for your time and attention. I look forward to hearing your comments also after we had a chance to drive the car. But right now, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Julie Romero, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about Corolla. So welcome, Julie. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'll be sharing some information on the new features of the new Corolla. So let's start with the vehicle summary. As you now know, there are four primary grades on the new Corolla with the addition of the new LE Eco grade. And here you can see a list of some of the standard features by each grade that Jim had mentioned in his speech. Please don't feel like you have to write any of this down. All this information that I'll be sharing with you is included in your USB drive. For the LE, the LE Eco, and the S grade, there are two trim levels, a plus and a premium trim level. The plus trim level adds a uniquely designed alloy wheel specific for each grade. The premium adds the Softex heated front seats with the eight-way power driver adjustable seat. To keep things simple, these trim levels receive one option and one package. The option being the moonroof and a driver's convenience package, which includes the smart key push, push, push button start system and the new in tune premium audio with navigation and app suite, which also includes satellite radio. So that wraps up the summary. Let's go on to the exterior. 
The new Corolla's length has been increased by 2.5 inches. The wheelbase has also been increased by 3.9 inches. The width has been increased slightly by 0.3 inches, and the height has been reduced by 0.4 inches, giving the new Corolla a longer, lower, and wider stance, enhancing the stability and the agility of the drive, which you'll be able to experience firsthand tomorrow. Here you can see the exterior design of the front. The top image is shared by the L, the LE, and the LE Eco grade. The image below is of the S grade. The differences are pretty straightforward. A couple things I'd like to point out on the S grade is that the upper honeycomb grille, the lower grille, and the fog lamp housings receive a glossy piano black finish. You'll also notice that the side mirrors include turn signal indicators. Now these features are specific to the S grade, but those are the key differences. <coughs> Corolla is the first vehicle in the segment to offer standard LED headlamps and daytime running lights standard across all grades. Now using LEDs is smarter because they use less power, they provide better coverage, and they last a lot longer than the traditional halogen lights. The image you see above is of the previous generation halogen headlamp. Now your field of vision is very well displayed and you'll notice that there is a slight tinge to it. The image below is that of the new Corolla with the LED headlamps. And you'll notice that the light discharge is very close to that of sunshine or daytime. This enhances your field of vision tremendously. So it, a lot better. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> That's the exterior, let's go on to the interior. The interior design team has created a horizontal fluid dashboard design uh, using upgraded materials while keeping all the displays and the feature controls within easy sight and reach. And also adding additional color and fabric options elevates Corolla's interior to the next level. Some of the high quality materials include uh, soft touch materials throughout the cabin, the piano black finish on the center stack, and for the vehicles that have the CVTIS transmission, a premium shift boot is provided, as well as chrome interior accents. The rear seat cushion has been redesigned for better comfort. The hip point has also been moved back three inches, and the space behind the center console and the rear seat has also been increased by over three inches. Now you couple that with the fact that the front seats are now a thin back design, it gives the rear passenger a legroom measurement of 41.4 inches, which is 5.1 inches over the previous generation. So when you get an opportunity on your drive, get in that back seat and just see how much more comfortable the back seat really is. Here you can see the instrument clusters. The top image is a three gauge design with chrome accents and it has a multi-information display. This is shared by the L, the LE, and the LE Eco grades. The image below is a two gauge design with silver trim and it also includes a 3.5 inch thin film transistor display monitor. Now this is unique to the S grade. That what is displayed in that 3.5 inch monitor is when you turn your vehicle on or you turn it off, you'll be able to read a welcome and a goodbye message. But what's really cool and unique about it is that you can customize what is displayed on that message. And that is done through your audio unit. There is now a blue or amber pinstripe that runs along the IP as well as the top of the front and the rear doors. This is standard on the LE, the LE Eco, and the S grades. The L grade receives a black pinstripe. And for all grades, the clock is located above the pinstripe design in the center of the dash for easier visibility. And here you can see the interior color palette for the new Corolla. Vibrant colors, more fabric options, the multi-mix media for the S grade. Again, elevating Corolla's interior design to that next level of quality. So now let's check out the performance. The Corolla has a 1.8 liter dual overhead cam, four cylinder inline engine. 
with dual independent VVTI that produces 132 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque. Now the LE Eco engine with a valvematic intake system produces 140 horsepower at 126 pound-feet of torque. Some additional highlights is that we add a new CVTIS transmission, a new 6B manual transmission, and of course the valvematic for the LE Eco grades which, by the way, gets a highway MPG of 42. To provide a better example or demonstration of how this valvematic intake system works, I have a video for you. Toyota's valvematic engine technology has been designed to address an age-old engine designer's concern, and that is how to enhance overall engine efficiency when running at high speeds and light throttle settings. Traditional gasoline engines control the air intake for the engine at the throttle valve, so in running at highway speeds and at light throttle settings cruising, the engine has to overcome this suction that's created in the intake manifold because the throttle valve creates a lot of restriction there. The valvematic system uses several components to combat these pumping losses that engines experience at high speed and light throttle settings. First of all, there is an actuator. The actuator is the computer control device for the entire system. It operates a control shaft, which then works roller arms on an oscillating cam, and this system will vary the amount of valve lift you have on the intake valves of the valvematic engine. So the valvematic engine is going to control intake air to the engine in a different manner than the conventional engine, in that it's going to allow the throttle valve to stay open at light throttle settings and high speeds and restrict the air at the intake valve. We can vary the intake valve lift amount with valvematic to allow the engine to respond to variable conditions. So under normal driving conditions, such as high speed and light throttle loads, the throttle valve is going to be held open and the air intake will be restricted at the intake valve with a small amount of intake valve lift. Under harder driving conditions or heavier acceleration, things change. Now the intake valve lift is increased dramatically, which allows a much larger volume of air and fuel to be ejected into the engine. And then of course, having that air waiting in the intake manifold gives the driver a much more rapid throttle response for a snappier acceleration feel. Toyota's computer-controlled valvematic system uses its components to vary the amount of lift at the intake valve, and this is done based on driver input at the throttle pedal. The system also works very closely with Toyota's VVTI system to provide the driver optimal valve lift and also optimal engine performance under a wide variety of driving conditions. Toyota's valvematic engine technology enhances engine performance. It provides enhanced engine response by having more available air in the intake manifold. It also helps to reduce overall engine emissions output and finally enhances greatly engine fuel economy. So to recap, the valvematic technology is standard on the LE Eco grades only and it provides class leading fuel economy, improved overall engine performance while reducing the emissions as the first application of this intake technology in the United States. There are three transmissions for the new Corolla. A four-speed automatic transmission is available on the L grade. A new six-speed manual transmission is standard on the L grade and is available on the Corolla S plus trim level. The rest of the grades receive the new CVTIS transmission. The CVTIS transmission is a belt and pulley design. So when you're out driving and you're in the S grade, Engage the sport mode, and you'll be able to experience seven distinct shift points. Now, this CVTIS transmission was built in Japan, but it was programmed by a team in California specifically for the U.S. market. So it provides a more natural shift feeling. Now, to give you a better idea of how this particular uh, transmission performs, I've got a video. <laughs> The 2014 Toyota Corolla will feature Toyota's all-new continuously variable transmission, or what we call the CVT-IS. This will be the first application of this new transmission on a high production volume vehicle like Corolla. The new CVT-IS will feature a twin pulley design that will give the driver seamless gear shifts under normal driving conditions, but also provide sporty driving feel. The transmission will seamlessly vary the gear ratios by simply changing the distance between the pulleys. Under normal driving conditions, the CVTIS will focus its efforts to maximize fuel economy and keep the engine RPMs in a range that is most efficient. Under harder driving conditions or heavy acceleration, 
Now the CVTIS will react in a different manner and will allow engine RPMs to come up for maximum performance to give the driver an additional acceleration boost. In addition to that, the driver is going to feel some shifts in the transmission, up to seven of them. This gives the Corolla driver their very sporty driving feel. And finally, if they really want to get after it, the Sport Mode button will allow the Corolla driver to further engage the CVTIS in a performance mode, bringing engine RPMs up even higher for maximum performance, and also enhancing the feel and crispness of those transmission shifts. The new CVTIS can also sense when the Corolla is in a downhill condition and raise engine RPMs up to help engine brake the Corolla and also prepare the driver to exit those corners on those twisty mountain roads. So in the end, the new continuously variable transmission can provide the Corolla driver with excellent fuel economy, very spirited performance, and low overall vehicle emissions. So under normal driving conditions, the CVTIS will locate the optimal gear range position to provide the best fuel economy performance. And under aggressive or heavier throttle input driving situations, the CVTIS will shift to the higher ratio range, which will allow for a more natural engine speed rise and fall during the simulated shift points during acceleration. So this way, when you're out there, you're going to feel just how responsive the CVTIS transmission is compared to other CVT transmissions that might have a delayed response or more rubber band type of feeling. Um, but judge that for yourself when you're out there driving tomorrow. For the L E and the LE Eagle grades, there is an S and a B position in their shift gate. You would want to use the S position if you're in a driving situation where you need more engine response, typically in mountain roads when there's a lot of twists and turns. So by placing the shift knob in the S position, it manually keeps the ratio, the range of the ratios in the low to mid ratio range. This will allow enough engine response to get you through those shift twists and turns. Now, if you're on a decline and you're going downhill and you need more engine braking, you would want to put the shift knob in the B position. And what that does, it manually keeps the ratio range in the low ratio area. This provides more engine braking to help slow your vehicle down during those declines. On the S grade, there is an M position on the shift gate. By putting the shift knob into the M position, this allows the driver the ability to shift the uh, gears manually. The new Eco Drive mode is standard on the LE Eco Plus and Premium trim levels only. And it's a driver selectable feature. The button is located at the end of the gear, the gear shift. And what it does is it, it changes or adjusts the engine mapping and reduces the throttle input as well as the HVAC output to help optimize fuel economy. Now, depending upon the driving styles of the driver, they can uh, realize a gain of 5% in fuel economy performance. But if you floor it and that's your driving style, you're not gonna see that gas savings. <laughs> the sport drive mode is standard on all S grades with the CBTIS transmission. Again, this is a driver selectable feature. The button's located at the end of the shift gate. And what it does, it optimizes the engine RPMs as well as the transmission ratios. And then what it does, is it's holding the RPMs at a higher rate, which helps to maximize the torque output. So when you're driving and you engage that S mode, or the sport drive mode, you'll notice that on the tachometer, the um, needle will go up to a higher RPM range, but the, you'll notice that the shifting is much quicker. So you'll be able to experience a more visceral drive. As well, um, the standard on the S grades of the CVTS transmission are the paddle shifters, which are located behind the steering wheel. And these can be utilized at any time for the driver to shift manually. The uh, shift knob does not need to be in the end position to do so, just giving the driver another option to shift manually. The suspensions. Corolla has a McPherson strut front type suspension and a torsion beam rear suspension. One of the goals of the Corolla is to provide a more dynamic drive experience, but without compromising the rear passenger seat comfort. Now this was achieved by changing the tow control bushing mounts from a straight design to a diagonal or slanted design. 
This provided the dynamic drive experience that was the goal, but it also did not compromise the rear passenger seat comfort. Safety. 